is the current and reigning king of the Iron Man, badass Brandon Campbell. for Heavy Metal Jake Hazard! nuts and he basically his theme is or his mission statement seems to be nobody can beat the hell out of me like I can that's Jake Hazard in a sentence I guess should be some good energy here no, they're both very loud individuals anyway, and they've really got something brewing between them. So far, yeah, so far I was going to say, and they proved me right, it doesn't seem like anybody's eye or something. They got a hell of a competition between them, but at this point it's still a healthy competition. The testosterone, the adrenaline hasn't really gotten the better of either man. However, they still got that competitive thing, and currently Jake Hazard is up by one in the second match of their best of seven series. So Brandon Campbell is uh, actually behind the eight ball. He's actually fighting from underneath tonight. And there he goes after uh, Brandon Campbell. And these guys uh, know each other so well. They're doing such a great dance away from each other and not get into the clutches of the other one. They're pretty equal in strength. I would say Brandon's a bit quicker and Brandon's about three to four inches taller. Brandon's got to be 6'4", six, 6'5". Six, and here we go. The Greco-Roman test of strength. They're locked in there. I don't think we're going to see any kicks or low blows or any of that. These guys are going to face off to see who's stronger. This thing could really intense, though, because they got so much pride, like I said before, and they're locking horns here. They are locking horns here just simply from this wrist lock. Greco-Roman knuckle lock, test of strength, whatever you want to call it. Jake Hazard's heaving. Brandon, I can see his face now. You guys see it on the camera. And look at these two, man. It, it can't, nobody's getting the upper hand yet. There goes, Brandon's dipping. He's dipping. He's dipping. And before he gets past 90 degrees, he's back up powering Jake back now. These guys, neither one, willing to give an inch, man. There goes Jake. It's Jake's turn. Is Brandon going to get the better of him? And Brandon's got the better of him. But Jake puts up the neck bridge to stay out of trouble as far as pinfalls go. And wow, just from that test of strength. Look at the white knuckles. I mean, these guys are working. Look at the back muscles. Look at Jake Hazard fighting from underneath, powering up. Putting a lot of strain on the neck and the traps, man. Unbelievable. Brandon Campbell trying to focus on this function, which is just basically upper body strength with some legs in there. And he's got the shoulder down, but I'm going to say for less than a second each time it happens. And Jake rolls through and gets the single leg on the taller man. And now he's riding him like you would ride a bull. The key there is he's got to hang on. Jake Hazard on the waist lock, but Brandon Campbell, to his credit, powered up to his feet, takes some of the leverage off, gives him a chance to try to muscle out or counter, you know, some sort of takedown transition or pure power like that. And now he takes him over before Jake can get an opportunity to power. And he's on the head of Jake Hazard, the upper body with all of his upper body weight on the head and neck of Jake Hazard. You can hear these guys, man. This thing's getting heated, but.
but it's just to a fever pitch. It hasn't boiled over yet. There's no rules being broken, no name calling. Jake Hazard trying to get some energy behind him. Got a little bit anyway. There he is, man. And Brandon is perfectly happy to ride him like this. The only thing is they got to get to a pinfall. And Jake Hazard sits out and brings that left arm with him. And now he's on the back of Brandon Campbell, wrenching on that shoulder. Crowd is pretty split here as they're both fan favorites. And I think the hook to this match is basically the same thing as these guys wanted to determine is who's the better man. Brandon, though, knows he's in trouble, and he's trying to inch and drag Jake with him with all that pressure put on the left arm to get to that rope to break the hold, try to live to fight another day. If he submits here, he's down by two in the best of seven. It's not a good place to be. But look at Brandon here trying to get the people behind him, and they're getting behind him. He's scooching. He got over there. Barely got over there, but he gets to keep his arm for another day anyway. Jake Hazard's blown up. Brandon Campbell's blown up. I can hear them both breathing. You can see on the cam or on the Twitch here that the chests are heaving. Jake Hazard lets him get away from the ropes, which uh, you know you don't see that very often today in the sport anyway. Now they're sizing each other up again. I'm going to go ahead and say the first part of that match was pretty much back and forth again. And here they are jockeying for position. They're almost in a hand fight. And look at that. They are in a hand fight, an actual hand fight, just like you'd see in MMA or ground fighting or collegiate wrestling, amateur wrestling. Five minutes expired in the match. And look at this. Five minutes in. And these two guys, man, I mean, really, what a wrestling match. What a wrestling exhibition. Unbelievable back and forth and, you know, high spots, big moves, big bumps. They blow you up, but not like this. Oh, and there's Brandon Campbell with the first forearm. Nothing illegal about that, just aggressive. And there's the second one, and that one really had the exclamation point at the end of it. Whew. Jake Hazard moves. Now it's his turn to light Brandon up. Three. Three forearms to Brandon's two, and Brandon is reeling. But that took a lot out of Jake. Here comes Jake, and Brandon's turn to move, and he shows you those quick goat reflexes, and Jake Hazard is being held up by the ropes. Brandon gets right on him. Snap mares the 240-pounder and delivers that gorgeous forearm to the back, and now he's focused on the neck of Jake Hazard, and he's got that left arm tied in there with the neck. He's also stretching out and working on the serratus muscles. Now, all the muscles in your neck, your lower neck, your upper back, they tie into nerves underneath that serratus in, in between the ribs and the rib cage. The upside is, is that your lungs are open at least one half here, but you can't think because you're in panic mode because of the pain to suck in oxygen. But yeah, Jake is starting to get red in the face and Brandon is giving no indications of letting go or releasing the hold. Referee Ian Anderson doing a decent job here, keeping track just in case Jake has a moment of doubt. But Jake turns toward him, taking the pressure off. Hip push shots to the hip flexors and a hip toss for a cover. Brandon kicks out before the count of one. Now Jake is getting up first and getting on the back. Rhomboids and lats of Brandon Campbell. He's got him tied up in an inverted surfboard. The folks. Go ahead right now while you're with me and try to put your own shoulders to 90 degrees and put your hands and wrists together as close as Jake Hazard is forcing Brandon Campbell's hands and wrists right now and tell me how it feels. First of all, you can't do that to yourself. That tells you something that the body isn't supposed to bend that way naturally. But if you're in great shape, you got your cardio going on, you be able to tend to handle Vicarious situa precarious situations like Brandon Campbell is right now. Here's the thing with Brandon, your run-of-the-mill wrestler. He's able to fight through that and get to his feet. And Brandon with the fireman's out of nowhere. And now he's back to that left arm and side of Jake Hazard. And he's back in there trying to get the submission. I know Brandon, now that I think about it, 
he's going to go ahead and try to uh, get the submission here in this match. I honestly believe that. Oh, Brandon, no, man. I mean, Jake, to his credit, and the kid again in decent shape. He is in great shape, able to withstand this kind of abuse, and that's what it is. But, however, I want to point out to you once again, not a rule has been broken yet. Those are open palms, if I'm not mistaken. And Brandon Campbell's got the legs. He's tired of that hole because it didn't do any good. And it looks like Brandon is tying him up into another submission, which puts just as much pressure back on the neck, that left side of the neck anyway, which he's been working on for the last couple, three minutes anyway. He's got the lower body tied up of Jay Castle. That means he can't get anything underneath him to take that pressure off. If you can even get one knee up, it releases some of the pressure. But no, Jake Hazard reeling in pain. Brandon Campbell focused on that. He wants the submission. He wants the tap. Arm check by the referee. Jake's in more trouble than I thought. It dropped twice now. And oh, there it is. Respect. Mad respect. Mad propers. Jake Hazard being a man. And that's what you got to possess that fifth gear that Jake just showed you right there in the sport. Here goes uh, Jake Hazard now. Digging his nails in and gets to the ropes and finally gets Brandon to release the hold. As you saw, he almost dipped out, passed out, rather than tap out. Brandon's giving him too much time to recover, but I think Brandon's blown up too, trying to ride that big horse for probably a couple, three minutes, man. Back to the rhomboid area, the back, the traps, the neck, it's all connected. Brandon with the single leg, drops him on his face, Brandon, big elbow to the sternum. 10 minutes expired, 10 minutes gone. How in the hell did Jake Hazard kick out at one? Now that's a head trip, man. Jake kicks out at one, and that's got to really frustrate Brandon Campbell, because that was a high impact movie. He couldn't even get a two count out of it, and that was all heart by Jake. Oh, 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 look at Jake. What a strong, dropped him like a bad habit. Campbell covers him. One, two, no, Hazard kicks out with authority. Unbelievable, so physical. Love this, man. This is a wrestling match. This is high impact. The whole, at least I love you too, buddy. That's a head trip right there. He's trying to no-sell him. And doing that is just going to frustrate Brandon. And as I said, it frustrated him. But those, uh, the double palm chop was a legal move. Here goes Brandon working himself up into a frenzy. And there goes Jake Hazard. He goaded him in. And now he fired up. And it's his turn for the double chop. And somebody give Brandon his nipple back. Snap mare. Clothesline and a cover. One, two, Brandon's turn to show how tough he is. And boy, tough as nails kicking out of that high impact clothesline. God bless. Better him than me. That's all I've got to say tonight. Now Jake Hazard working on the back again of Brandon Campbell. He's trying to tie him up in a body scissor. Brandon's trying to keep those legs apart of Jake. Scissors those ankles. There you go. The odds of Brandon getting out of that now are a lot worse. Try to get out of that with the 240 pound guy attached to your back. Squeeze it on the floating ribs, compressing the lungs, restricting the airflow, the oxygen into the body. Can't recover if you can't get oxygen. Brandon Campbell turning lemons into lemonade as at least he got a one kind out of there, powering with his legs and using Jake's body weight against him. Jake trying to fire from behind now he's got Brandon tied up in a semi-surfboard. Brandon's face says it all. Brandon says no, does not want to give. Brandon again with the legs and the creativity or innovation here. Learning how to use the other big man's uh, gravity against him. Brandon is really in trouble, and Jake has really got him tied up. Talk about resentment. Jake is just tied up. He's got him in the surfboard while he's crushing or collapsing uh, 
the short ribs, that rib cage, ever so much, just enough to restrict oxygen flow. And now Brandon's going to have to rely on his heart here, uh, on the guts, uh, on his uh, fortitude. We'll see if he can outlast this, because now Brandon looks like he's uh, about ready to tap out. Nope, he's got other plans. He's muscled out of the upper body. Jake has transitioned, though, but look at that. When he transitioned, Brandon was able to get his legs underneath him, and that's where a lot of power lies for Brandon Campbell, who's up on his feet. Jake desperately trying to beat him back down into submission, and he's out of it. Schoolboy, one, two, two count. He almost confused Brandon Campbell and got a pinfall. However, look how exhausted Jake Hazard is from controlling the big man for that long. It took so much out of him. And now Brandon Campbell says to Jake Hazard, is that the best you got? Oh, oh, oh. and Jake Hazard pulled out a big clothesline slash splash. And there's another one. The second one connected even harder. And here comes on the third. Oh, and Brandon Campbell might be out on his feet. And now Jay Kazer fires him all the way across the ring, but Campbell's far from out. Up and over goes the big man with his schoolboy, and he gets a two count. Swing, bada, bada. And wow, I would say that was about a triple. If we were in baseball right now, man, that uh, Brandon Campbell clothesline, no thank you. That's all I've got to say. Jake Hazard, though, he's seeing the stars, but he's moving. He keeps coming forward. He keeps moving forward. Like Sylvester Stallone says, it's not how much you can take. It's how much you can take and keep moving forward. Now, Brandon Campbell's got that front face lock, and it's locked in, and it's locked in tight. It's also got to be noticed that other arm tied in. So this is putting the strain on the back, the neck, and the rhomboids. There's a lot of nerves in there. It's all tied in together. You know, from the base of the neck to the rhomboid, there's about a billion nerves in there. Not to mention the restriction of airflow. Well, he's got them locked up, and he's squeezing on the carotid arteries on both sides. Brandon Campbell's got no intent. But look at Jake Hazard flips out of it into the ropes and gets the break and also about a one and a half count. But look at how red Jake is. Can he get up? Oh, that was a blatant break of the, break of the rules right there. That was something, man. I'm surprised to see Brandon. And maybe this is becoming too much for him, you know? Oh, man, those are solid shots. Palm strikes. And look at him, bend him in half. He picks him up in the fireman's carry. What's he going to do with him at this point? Two elbows by Jake Hazard. And now he's got a dragon sleeper on him, and he's riding Brandon Campbell. 16 minutes gone in the match. 16 minutes gone, 14 remain. Brandon Campbell only has a 240-pound guy hanging on his head with all of his weight. That's all. How do you spend your Saturday, Friday nights, folks? Oh, God bless Brandon and God bless Jake. I mean, Brandon, you got to give it to him for being able to support all that weight. And then you got to give it to Jake Hazard being able to support Brandon. And Brandon was about to dip. Boom! But never say never, man. The first one, he's got to nail him harder than that. Can he do it? He's thinking about dipping. Nope, he's got the legs underneath him in the back arch, but Jake Hazard is just squeezing, squeezing, squeezing. He got him half off, not all the way. All right, they're in the ropes. Referee calls for the breaks. Now, Brandon was smart. He just leaned into him, causing him to actually be in the ropes, calling for the break. Jake goes for the suplex. Brandon puts the brakes on. Not sure how he had the energy to do so. Oh, and he floats over. That's a 240-pound man, guy. Oh, drives the nail into the coffin. One. Two, no! Jake Hazard, guts versus guts. That's what this match is turning out to be. A lot of heart. Look at how hard these two young men are working. The chests are heaving. The adrenaline's pumping, the sweat flowing. Jake can't believe it was a two count. Jake's still not up to his feet yet. Jake's laughing about it.
What the hell's wrong with this guy? Where did that come from? Is he having a nervous breakdown before our very eyes? Who laughs when they're in that kind of pain? Oh, and Brandon attacking the ribs. I think it's the left side again. He softened them up earlier there. Now Brandon's too tired to get the other big man off his feet. And there, Jake showing a sign of life here. And these guys are training palm strikes, open hands to the neck and jaw, man. These are solid shots. You can hear him ricocheting off of the men. Brandon has got him up there with a series of forearm strikes. Irish whip. Jake ducks it. Ducks the elbow. Oh, Samoan slam right off the ropes. Brandon has got to cover him. One, two, no! Only Jake Hazard could have kicked out of that. These guys are so evenly matched. Unbelievable. One of the best things this company ever did was put these two young competitors in a best of seven series because if they mean to or not, they are bringing out the absolute best in each other and themselves. Look at Jake. I can't believe he's moving after that. Jake with the double leg. Headbutt to the solar plexus. Another one. A third one. And now what's he going to do? He's got a leg lock on Brandon Campbell. Yeah, he's really got that wrenched in. Brandon's got nowhere to go with this one. I don't know how he's going to scooch away, get to the ropes, get any kind of break here. Now Jake's got a lock lock. Let's see if Brandon's arm's long enough. Is it? Is it? Uh, oh, no. He might want to tap and live to fight another day. He might want to tap and save his patella ligament and live to fight another day. I know I would. I'd be thinking that way anyway. Look at Brandon in so much trouble, so close to the rope yet so far. Referee Ian, oh, I don't know how he scooched into that, but he's out of harm's way for the time being. 20 minutes gone in the match, 10 minutes remain. One, two. Jeez, these two, talk about a physical match. Two big guys by industry standards, giving it their all. Giving it and taking it. Back and forth. I can't believe they maintained a back and forth pace like this for 20 minutes. And look at Jake's had it. He's trying to fire him up. He got the big man up. Body slam. Now, when you're his size, a bigger man, he goes down and hits that man harder than a smaller guy. There's an elbow across the sternum. But Jake Hazard, one, two, he had the leg hook because he was tired and he couldn't get the upper body handled. So here it is, Brandon Campbell taking advantage of a situation. At that point, Brandon Campbell's had about 170 matches under his belt. He's starting to build up an instinct with that kick out. My God, this might even end in a double knockout. Oh, what a kick. It's good, it's all good. What's he setting him up for, Brandon? Setting him up. Oh, and he just drove that forearm strike into him with no give, and now he's back on the rhomboid neck area. And yep, he's evolved it into a camel clutch, made famous by the once WWF champion, the Iron Sheik. Thing there is, Brandon's about six inches taller than Sheiky, so, that being said, do the math. You do the math. That puts more pressure on the head and neck. And, you know, I believe the Iron Sheik was able to get Bob Backlund to tap to this move. Probably Hulk Hogan at one point. But Jake Hazard's not ready to tap. He's using his legs to get some good energy behind him from the fans in attendance tonight. And let's face it. Positive begets positive, and Jake Hazard's arms are out of there. He's one third of the way out of this hold, and now he's powering up with those thighs. He's up to the knee area, and Brandon Campbell can't believe it. I can't believe it. The fans can't believe it as Jake Hazard is up. He's up. Oh, and he drops Brandon Hamble. Campbell on the back of the head there on the turnbuckle. Both men are out. Might be a double knockout. This match might finish in a double knockout. Four, five, no, Jake Hazard showing signs of life and then some, and he's pissed. Jake's up on his feet and he's fired up. Can Brandon take this? Let's see what's coming. 
Oh, beautiful tackle, turns the big man inside out. Beautiful clothesline, swung at him like Babe Ruth with a baseball bat, only it was his arm. And there's an elbow, Brandon is down. Jake Hazard's got to go for a cover, it's too late. He missed the window of opportunity on that one. He's gotta follow up with something big. And there it is, he's going for his finishing move. It's the F666, is his twist. No, Brandon Campbell literally stumbled out of that. He's got the backslide. Oh! At 23 minutes and 26 seconds, your winner in the second match in the best of seven series, Badass Brandon Campbell. If they shake hands after all they've been through, Oh, 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 oh.